in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and today I will show you a couple of functionalities of the pen that you might not know about. So anyway, uh, this will be just a brief little list. So once you get your pen, not sure if you ever realized, hopefully you did, there is a little pen icon that shows up that you can move around and when you tap on it, it gives you a bunch of different options right here. So we have things like creating notes. Uh, hopefully you've seen majority of those because um, these are the well, things that are easily accessible. As you can see, we have also view notes that have created. We have smart select, screen write, uh, live messages, uh, AR doodle. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's using the camera. So, all right, it needs to detect face. So I need to kind of like hunch over this, but whatever. Uh, it basically detects the face, and you can then. Uh, add, I don't know, mustache to it as an example, and uh, it will kind of keep following the face. But going back to this, we have translate, uh, which is actually a nice feature so you can write something and then be translated to a different language. Uh, now, going into a little bit more fun parts of this, in here you will find settings. And for some reason, by default, a couple of those things are disabled, like S Pen to text, I recommend uh, enabling that if you're planning to use the pen quite often. And what this will allow you to do is, as an example, you can open up your browser now. There we go. And you can now start writing. So you don't need to actually type it in, you can simply write it. Now, when doing so, I do. Uh, recommend uh, trying to write as quick as you can and, and don't pay attention too much on like your uh, uh, on the actual like how you write this uh, the device seems to be doing a fairly decent job on recognizing handwriting so that's at least nice and the reason why i recommend going over for speed over the accuracy in terms of writing here is because if you s pause for a little bit too long the device will automatically take whatever you have written and just kind of like condense it into well, the message. And once you start continue, continue to write, it will then not make any space in between and just kind of add whatever next thing you have written to whatever you finished. So as an example right now, uh, hi, let's say, there we go. As you can see, it just combined both of them instead of putting a space. Even though those are two separate words, uh, it just kind of, punches them up together so you need to either tap on the on the keyboard right here to make a space or let's see if I can whoops nope it doesn't seem to be doing a space so yeah we basically need to write it quick so like this and as you can see it then creates a space. So a little bit wonky, a uh, little bit unfortunate in this case because when you stop you need to bother with the space, but yeah. So uh, let's see what else we can do. If I can actually, hello, can you close? There we go. Um, so we obviously have the little button right here which works with the camera. Come on. Unless it's turned off for some reason. So big. For some reason it is disconnected even though hello it's working so that seems to be a problem here not sure what the problem is but uh, as you can see there it is so um this would be the uh the section where you can actually utilize this though like i mentioned it doesn't seem to be seeing the flip and pen so that, that's a problem and if it actually did see it as you've seen right here we have a couple of options that it can go over uh, different motions as well along with the press so you have a switch camera which is you basically press and then like do this swipe down motion swipe up uh, left right 
and so on. And obviously these correspond to different things. Now if you don't want to use this, uh, you can either just not use it or you can completely turn it off if you don't want it. Uh, additionally you have a bunch of different ones for like gallery, notes, drawing, AR emojis and so on. So you have a decent plethora of things that you can mess around in here with. And anything else that you might be interested in, uh, interested in with the pen, you can find it right here. So in terms of the settings strictly. Now I did want to do a little bit of a drawing test uh, at one point, but it turns out I'm kind of out of time, so I'm not going to be very able to do so. Uh, but for drawing, from my experience, uh, this pen is exactly the same one as it was for the previous ones, and they seem to be working fine. So from a brief testing, I did, I did re well, not realize, but came to uh, see that I feel like this has been uh, has been improved in terms of the software itself. So before when I was trying to draw some some like more detailed things, it would sometimes like disconnect the the little pen where it uh, where it made a space, or for instance like messed around the actual pressure sensitivity this didn't seem to be the the case right now so it majority of the time did recognize the pressure sensitivity correctly um, with what i was actually pressing it something that didn't really always happen with the s7 uh, tabs which i did have a problem with uh, one additional thing that i feel like should be a little bit changed is this little pen tip uh, it's still kind of feels weird where it just feels like it kind of sometimes grips to the surface a little bit too much and obviously because this is glass you have this sl smooth sliding motion but you feel like uh, for instance like you have fingers uh, fingerprints on it you kind of feel when going over this this unevenness which isn't necessarily the best one and the next thing that I do have a little bit of a gripe is the pen size would have been nice to have a little bit of a bigger one that feels better in hand uh, obviously I I think I do prefer the uh, Apple version of the pen just because it, it's a little bit more chunky and the pen tip is uh, a little bit different. It's more rigid. It feels nicer to kind of like press it to the surface here. It's a finer point, but this, uh, the texture of it just is not something that I would want to use. And yeah, and now one last thing that I kind of want to mention and add to this. Uh, if you didn't know, if you have, for instance, something like this, uh, a tab uh, S8 as an example, as I have right here, or in this case, S8 Ultra. And as an example, you have also one of the notes uh, that comes with a tiny little pen that is in the device. Those pens are interchangeable. You can use the, both of the pens on, on each other's devices. So I can grab the, for instance, like the, what is it? Samsung S22 Ultra, whip out a pen and it will work with this and vice versa, I can use this with the S22 Ultra. And obviously the pens also work uh, without any problem with different devices, which actually now that I said that, I think that might be the problem for the pen being disconnected. This might not be the pen for this device. So that might be the problem here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, if you found this quick little video helpful, uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.